Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Special edition of Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I started working in 1990 with a smaller town on the northeast side of Fort Worth. And then in uh, 94, I moved back home and worked for the Knoxville Police Department for two years. But my wife is from Fort Worth and got a little homesick and wanted to move home. so. I was hired by the Fort Worth Police Department in 94, and I don't regret it. I've had a good time so far. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. Frank 1151. Go ahead. 2700 Ben, I'll advise. Yeah, this is a... This is always nice when you get to deal with this. What are you doing? Putting on a show or what? Get your drawers on. Show. What is going on here? Let me see ID. Turn your car off. Put your pants on there, Kelly. Get your pants on. Where are your pants at? Ask the job. I guess I'm just gonna have to lock you up tonight. You're causing too many problems out here. No. No, yes. What do you need? I need you to put your pants on. We don't wanna see all that. <laughs> yeah, this, one's, this one's expired. Get them on, come on. Huh? You got any more? Huh? You got any other insurance? Cause that one's expired, what you gave me. No, what I'm saying is that it's... it's you're saying it's current, but you just don't have a good one with you? Yeah, I got a note here sending this. They haven't sent me any paperwork on me yet. But we have insurance. Are you wanted or anything? No. Is there anything illegal in this car? No. <clears throat> no? Let's step out here for me. What was she, what was she wanting? Mm -hmm. Just tell me the truth. I know what she does. Tell me what was I going wasn't on. Gonna run over. Huh? I wasn't gonna run over. So she just came and jumped on your hood? Yeah. Okay. I don't doubt that for some reason. You ain't got nothing on you, do you? Just turn around for me. Turn around. Because a lot of these girls trade for dope, okay? So just relax. And you ain't got nothing on you, right? No. Okay. I was going to say, if you do, just tell me so we can just avoid it. What's in your pocket here? Money? Yeah. Okay. All right, just step back here to the back. Nothing under the seats or anything? No guns, nothing like that? Uh, Do you know where you're at? Are you familiar with this area? Yeah. You are familiar with it? Well. So, you know why I'm asking that then? I'll, you can go ahead and get back in your car. I'm gonna check this guy. <laughs> see if he's wanted for anything. So he can get out of here and... Uh, he said that uh, she just... He came down through here and she just jumped up on his hood and uh, started doing what we drove up on. Mr. Shawnee, Henry, you clear for signal one. 5300, Parker Henderson. Uh, somehow, I can believe that. She's uh, trying to get dressed over there, it looks like, and uh, this is just about a daily occurrence around here. It's not, it doesn't surprise me. Where are the shorts that you had earlier? No comprende. No comprende, huh? So now you're Hispanic? Um, oh, no. I'd go I, ahead and I, get out of here. I love everybody. Just go ahead and back you know? up. Now, let me tell you something. You're getting a ticket for disorderly conduct, OK? You can't be out here in the street. <laughs> Showing off your privates like that. 
jumping up on people's car hoods. Oh, but I can't. Huh? But I can't. But you can? No, you can't. Oh, can. yeah. That would be like against the law, so we can't have that. This is the third time I've talked to you tonight. I don't believe that it's against the law, though. Oh, it is. Trust me, it is. When you don't have your pants on, no underwear on, up on a car hood, showing yourself to everybody, that'd be against the law. OK, go ahead. Oh, I will. I just want you to understand. Do you understand that? Yeah. Am I going to see you anymore tonight? <laughs> I hope so. I hope not. Oh, really? You know why? Because next time, you're, you're costing me too much time out here. See, I'm being tied up for you <laughs> three times already tonight. So I'm just going to end it next time and take you to jail. <laughs> take it like a man. Take it like a man, that's right. OK, here you go. I need your signature down here by the X. That's, oh, man, that's Omar. Not, that's, that's, not a, that's not a plea of guilt. That's your promise to contact the court within 11 days, all right? Excellent. Adios. I mean it. I don't want to see you again. OK. The uh, female was issued a citation for disorderly conduct, exposing the genitals in public, and uh, that's pretty much it. 35, where's this driver at? Got a truck driver advises that two uh, females had just uh, come out of his truck and stole some items from him. This is a real regular place for the prostitutes in this area to pull rip-offs. Can I help you? Yes, sir. I woke up. My truck won't lock or nothing. Went over to Hardy's, gave me something to eat. I come back. I took five dollars with me. I had my wallet hit on a mattress. I come back. My wallet was gone. My CV was loose. I chased the two girls. They weren't in the truck before you left? No, no one was in my truck before I left. OK. You want to prosecute them? Yes, I do. I want to. You want to come back to the state and sign the warrants and go to court in about two months? I sure will. Great. All right. Just walk that direction and we'll follow you right over there. I don't believe it. But we shall see. Motel, we're en route to. Code's department has shut it down a couple of times, some of the rooms, and we've had a lot of problems with the prostitutes and small-time drug dealers. I'll shut the door when I'm ready. Which one what? Point to somebody. She's right here. No, baby, it's two of us in there. Her? Her got out of my truck You're with my stuff. Here. All my money was gone out of my wallet, everything. This one and this one, we're in your truck. And got out of my truck and I come back. Okay, tell them they're under arrest. You're under arrest. Let's I'm go. prosecuting. Well, I'm gonna prosecute. I didn't Let's take go. his money. Well, it doesn't matter. Him. He just arrested you. Let's go. I want to prosecute, I want to prosecute him too. You're under arrest. For what? Arrest. You're under arrest for prostitution and theft and she's under arrest for theft and she gets to confess. I mean, we haven't done nothing. We haven't. Step outside. We'll discuss it in a minute. Please do. All right. Come over here in the car, ladies. I mean, you stay over there. Get over here. Come on. You stay over there. From the beginning, where'd you first meet him? Okay, we were standing on the street. He motioned us over to the I truck. Met, I met him differently. All right, well, I'm listening okay, to her. He motioned me over to the truck. He said, I would like two girls. He said, I pay 20 apiece. Okay. okay. And he said, one one We both agreed to it. Okay. Okay. That's my story. That's how I met him. How'd you meet him? I, mean, I was walking up through Burger King. I was going over to the trailer park. They got me to the truck. She was standing there, and uh, she asked me, did I want to do a date? To join us. And I said, 
I wasn't, you know, I wasn't sure. I went back up there and talked to him. And he went, you know, we sat there for a while and talked. And she, we were standing there here in the room earlier. And she looked at me and said, we're going to go rob it. So I walked back up there with her. And I was, we, me and him was sitting there talking, and she pulled his pants down and took his money. If he gave her 20? Okay. No, he had about five Where's the wallet at to go along? I, I did not see no wallet. wallet. He handed her $20, and he had That's a right. couple 20s, about five 20s. That's the only 20 Is that the truth? Or That's the only 20 I have. Five 20s in my wallet. I have. I have. I have. I have. You start telling the truth, for I lock you up. I am telling you. You're going to be arrested right now for, for soliciting prostitution, and you're going to have your truck towed off, and I'm going to I'm hold sorry, it I'm and sorry. put you in the Nashville jail. I'll, I'll take that there, and I'll go about my business. No, no. I'm Tell sorry. me the truth. What are you doing here? You I'm, picked them up? She no. come up and asked me if I wanted to. All right, and I fine. Said no. Now, did I not say no? Hey, never, don't touch I me never. with that cigarette. Oh, I'm sorry. That, that did this thing. See? You she asked me if I wanted no, to. No, I did not. No, sir. I did she no. get out in the cab with you? Both of us did. They sat there and I said, I'm going to go get something. They the got out of the cab. Uh, now, a minute ago, they didn't even get in the cab. I told you about making a false report, didn't I? Can I talk to you for a minute, please, by yourself? I did not want okay. to do this. Did you get into no, you had your chance. Yes. Did you get into this guy's truck? Please, I need no. to go. I was get that. she ever in the truck? They both were, yes, sir. We're through. Tell me to get some ID. I'm, I'm going to go. Gonna I'm going to go. I'm not. Go ahead and put them in your car. I'm going to cuff this one up and put him over here, and then I'm going to get in homeboy in there for aiding and abetting nice. prostitution. Turn around. You got anything in your pockets? Guns, knives? No. Rick, straighten it, man. You're going to lose your job and everything. Lean up on the hood of the car over there. Please, let us straighten Turn around. Please. You're under arrest for prostituting oh, and theft. Rick, straight, Rick, straighten this, man. Rick, straighten this. Big man. Man. No, no. Listen, come on, Rick, stay there, man. Backseat. I'm sorry. Backseat, are you back? Yes. Come on. Rick, please. We can do this. We can do this a nice way. Can I explain this, man? You can say something, but turn around fast. But why should I be arrested if I'm not lying? If I didn't know this, man. For soliciting, don't resist arrest, or I'll charge you with that. Put your hands behind your back. Now. Now. Well, I mean, what am I going to jail Don't for? Don't fight it. Young lady, listen to me. Look at this. I don't understand. Listen, listen I very am not carefully. Listen very carefully. Listen very carefully. You can either fight me and I will force you, or you can put your hands behind your back nice and easy. Take your pick. I guarantee you I will put it behind you. me before I get in the car. Can I talk to you? Please? Nope. In discussion. Right there. Wait, just, I got it. I got it. You're not going anywhere. Okay, let's take her. Let's take her. Let's take her. Don't hurt her. On the ground. No, on the ground. Face first. Give me the hand. My rib! My rib! Would you, would you please start to cooperate? Oh, Stop resisting. Stop you resisting. You're oh, resisting? Stop yes, resisting. Put you your hands behind your back. No. You're going to make that officer a lot happier if you can come up with that wallet or tell us but where it is. I did not take it. He did not have no okay. wallet, David. He did not. I swear on my child. He did not have no wallet. I don't care what all. you do. As long as you don't lie to me. When you lie to me, it's over. I have to tell him, well, it's too late. Lock her up. I'll tell you the whole Same truth. I'll tell you the whole truth. In the car. <gasps> Please. No, you're under arrest for resisting arrest and for uh, aiding and abetting soliciting prostitution. Oh. I'm going to charge him with uh, soliciting prostitution by his own admission, by the evidence at hand. Sound good. I'm going to charge both of them with uh, prostitution, and that way we'll just clean the house out for the night. I've been a police officer for Des Moines for three years now. It's been a good experience. It's been real enjoyable. It's kind of like playtime out here. Got a little bit of experience before this. I was even, I uh, don't want to brag, but I was even the chief of police for a small town for about three and a half years. The town was Oxford Junction. Uh, there was actually just two of us, which kind of made for short meetings. But I've enjoyed it here. I like small town, but I like the big city too. Medium sized city, I like it here. I like the size, it works well for me. Marble 4, 
before. Just got a call, male beating on a female. Not sure what's going on. We're gonna go see if we can catch him. We're not too far away, so. Another call. There's three people involved. One's 1032 with the club. One's got a crowbar. 24? There, there. 28, you want to start that way also? Yep. Put us out with them. 2125. 24, we're on it. There's several people here. Put the club down. Put, Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Now. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. What are you doing with that? Turn around. Don't push me. Don't do kidney first. Well, don't. You do what you're told is what you do. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Get down here. Sit. Sit. So what's going on here? Sit. Stay. You want to know what's going on? She fucked my ass and she honked and this Oh, you got punched. Sit. You got punched. Well, what are you doing? When I tell you to put down a tire iron, you put it down. I said no. I said no. Calm down. Hey, hey. Shut up and no. I don't want to hear that. Did you hit him with the tire thing? Yeah, yeah. She's a witness. You seen it? She hit, she said, he hit, she hit I can him. cuff you up, ma'am. If you don't mind, if you put your hands him with your back. Tire. You ran right after my oh. husband after you destroyed my windows. You came after my husband with that gas. That's a lie. He, he hit her first. first. He hit her first. You, That's a lie. He hit her first. What kind of culture is it? Yeah. treat women like that. Do you want to go next? Back. Do you want to go next? Do you see this? You see it. Look at my face. Look at me. Look at my face. What? Beat the hell out of me. Okay, well, you, you caused injuries on him. You ran into him first. You're I need to get your information. What is this? Her out of All of these spirits are not going to tell the hey, truth. Um, you want to press charges? Yeah. You want to press charges? Right now. Okay. I no, I may be a gook, but I am proud of help. being a gook. Okay. God damn it. I'm about head with the. No, no, I'm not. Oh, my goodness. Let's get her out of here. Is she the victim? What do we get? She. Good on her. No one will listen to me. Because I'm pissed. Well, that's that's your half your problem. You settle down and come over. Put her in the seat. Put her in the back of your car. I'm gonna figure out what's going on. Okay. Try and sort this out. How did you get your marks on your face? I put two back. No, how did you get the marks on your face? No, I don't know. I'm gonna take it back. I'm gonna take it back. How did you get the blood on your face? I think she scratched. She was just open hand scratching you. I think fingernail. Okay. Did she use that iron on you at all? That thing no, that she no, had in her no. hand? No. It was after that. Okay. Uh, what she hit you? With? No, no. She's scratching. She, she went after him with. Oh, I thought she was him. Yeah. I thought, you know, I thought okay. she was not gonna so, do anything, you know. So what I'm getting so far is, he comes back to Park Avenue. Woman honks behind him to move it to green light. They stop here. She parks it. Gets out of the car. He gets out of the car. Words are exchanged. Uh, she shoves him up against this car here. She pushes, he pushes her back, and then that's when he gets scratched, and it just escalates from that point on. Okay. Well, she had the tire iron out when we came up, yeah. but she's not cooperating, um, so we'll take right. her for that too. After what happened, um, I, I came out. I, I told her to. Uh, uh, I, 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 I take you, you want to press charges. Press charges. Yeah, on the damage on the vehicle. Oh, holy Moses. No. I didn't know that. that yet. Uh, wait, after, what happened? After they, they pulled my husband and her apart, she came to her car, came to her car, she grabbed her open her trunk, she grabbed the crowbar, and that's when I started calling 911. Um, about 30 seconds before I called, she hit my vehicle with that crowbar, with the, and she ran okay. after my husband with that crowbar. Okay. All right. Yeah, that kind of. Uh, yeah. You know, you might want to mention the window stuff, too, before we leave, because yeah. nobody had mentioned the window <laughs> thing, okay? No, I might not have noticed that's, that's it. That's, that's after, very important. Yeah. Yeah. After, very they, important. after they got pulled apart, she came to open yeah, up her trunk, got yeah. the crowbar, oh. the, the tank crowbar, too. out of her trunk. 
She hit my that, window. Oh, wow. And then she went, she hit the trunk. Uh, she hit the side of my car and she went after my husband with that. Okay. Um, if he didn't step back, he would have been hit from head on down. What you have is you got road rage that got carried away, and uh, they're it sounds like they're chasing each other down. Got out. She gets a tire iron after the fight. She starts going after him. Starts going after the vehicle. And that's about the time we come up. Come up, she's got a tire iron, which she's not going to put down for me. Oh, so we kind of took care of it that way. But a uh, little racism, a little uh, road rage, a little run of your mouth a little too much out here. Pull up to a scene like this, and you try to make sense out of everything. You only got two officers. Then the cavalry came, didn't it? Then all changes. You know, I didn't even notice tonight, but you know what? We've got a full moon. I think there's something that they say about that full moon stuff. Tonight, yes. My philosophy on police work is that we need to come out here and make sure that people are safe. We need to keep the roadways clear, make sure traffic's flowing. And a lot of times we're required to be a family counselor, the priest, the marriage counselor. We get calls all the time from people that are having trouble with their kids, people having marital problems. Fourth and Solar in the giant parking lot. It's like a older model. Buick. It's a white two-door. No plate. Four subjects. Hi. You don't have a license plate on your car. Um, yeah, I bought the car um, from a friend, and she's supposed to. I'm lost, totally lost. Mm -hmm. And um, she's supposed to get me the stuff on it. The paper that she gave me wasn't the right paper, so I thought that it'd what be paper? easier not to put on it. I didn't bring it with me. I've had it at the house. It's got a little. Um, it had a little Chevrolet um, emblem thingy on it, but it wasn't the right one. Do you have any bill of sale or anything on the car? Um, no, I don't. She was Come on back up me. here. Your seat belts in this car? Um, yeah. Does that little girl have a seat belt on? No, they no. don't. Why aren't those children restrained? Um, Why? Uh, because I'm sorry. We, we got in the car and just hopped over here to use the phone because there was no phone by Taco Bell. Okay, there, there's, and I didn't think about it. There, there's, there's no excuse to be driving around and you have one, two, okay. what, four kids in this car that aren't restrained? You know what's going to happen if you get in a wreck, right? These kids are going to get hurt. Can I see your driver's license, please? I don't have a driver's license. Why don't you have a driver's license? Um, I never needed one because I never had a car. And how old are you? I'm um, 34. You don't have registration? You don't have insurance? No, I don't. Is the car insured? Um, I don't know if it is or not. I bought it, like I said, well, I bought it Well, ma'am, if, if, if you bought the car, then it would be your responsibility to insure the car. Okay, no, it's not insured. I okay. just, you know, I just received it. Just have a seat right back inside, and I'll be back with you in just a few minutes. Two forty six NCIC. Also, can I have a twenty eight twenty nine by Vin? She's driving a car with no plate on it. She doesn't have a driver's license. She says she's never even had one. So we're gonna check and see what's going on with her. Minimum she's gonna get some tickets. Two forty six NCIC. Basically is she's given me a lot of more than likely bogus information. None of the information that she's given me is uh, proven to be valid. 25 inch, 22 on the 28. So we're going to have a chat with her. Come on back here, please. How old are you? I'm um, 34. OK, this is the deal. None of the information that you've given me has been verified. I want to see some ID like right now. I, don't I want to see a piece of paper in this car with your name on it. An EBT card, a check cash card, I don't have a, cash a social card. security card. Where's your purse at? It. It's right here. Where did you purchase all this merchandise from? Um, I just got it at the Hobby Lobby. The Hobby Lobby? Not the Hobby Lobby, but the okay. Hobby place on the way okay, back. Okay, come on back here. And how did you pay for it? With cash. Where did, in the world did you get all this money from? Um, 
I buy and sell cars with um, Willie's Restorations. How much money is here? Um, there should be um, $3,500. Now you're walking around with $3,500 in cash uh -huh. and no ID. No, I don't have any ID. You, got, you can't afford a driver's license. I, I just haven't gone and got one. I've been, you know, trying to take care of everything else. And what's this? It's a bag. This has a white powdery residue in this bag, ma'am. What does that tell me? That there's drugs in it. There's white powdery substance all over this checkbook. There's white powdery substance all over the inside of this bag. What is this white powdery substance I'm looking at here? It would be methamphetamine. It would be methamphetamine. What you need to do right now is turn around and put your hands behind your back. Is there, can I ask you You're going to turn around and you're going to put your hands behind your back right now. You're just gonna sit tight for a minute. I'm gonna have a look inside your car and we're gonna see what's going on. And the reason I'm putting these meat hooks on you is I don't want you running off and banging me in the back of the head while I'm looking in your car, uh, okay? Yeah, that's, that's why those fine. are on you. That's fine. You're not under arrest right now. Okay. You just hold tight. Um, are you holding anything? Yeah. Where? In my backpack. In your backpack. You just, where's your backpack at? How do I get in the trunk? Uh, with the screwdriver. The screwdriver? Is there a screwdriver in the car? Um, probably on the floor. There should be mm -hmm. one on the next mm -hmm. Look at the little babies right there. I they're, 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 they're crying their little eyes out because their mama has handcuffs on them. That's just lovely, isn't it? Hmm? Damn. What are you crying for? Huh? I know you love your mama, and I know, and I don't want to keep you from your mama either, okay? But you see, your, your mama's, you know, not being real straight with me right now, and I just had to put those handcuffs on her until I find out what's going on. Okay. Okay, partner? Okay. You just hang tight right there, okay? Where's, where's mama's backpack at? Uh, Can you pass that over to me? Uh, All righty. Uh. Are there any needles in here? No. Hello. Just gun loaded. What do you have a loaded pistol for? Gun, scale, dope, money. This is a very large quantity of methamphetamine. This is way beyond personal use. You know what the bad thing is? Do you have warrants out for you? You know what, if you just told me your real name to begin with, you'd have gotten a ticket for not having your kids in a child restraint and you'd be home right now. 3,500 in cash, a few pounds of meth, a scale. So you just go with this deputy right here. One of the sick things about it though is she had the child sitting on top of the narcotics and the gun. Perhaps she's hoping that with the kids in the car, the cops aren't gonna search the car. It's not good. I've been doing this now for going on six years, and I was always told when I first got hired that you're not really fully developed until you've been on for at least five years. When I first took this job, my wife had a job as a deputy sheriff, so she's got some prior law enforcement experience, which has been kind of nice when she can relate to what I do at work and what's going on here in the job. Looks like we got a fight over here in the corner of this street. Front yard of this house. Right by here, I can see a crowd of people fighting over here. There's a couple of women involved. 250T dispatch. Two fifty T dispatch. I'll be able to fight a three hundred block. Get Break it up! Break it up! Calm down, man. We're just trying to break this shit up. Get off her! We're trying to come on, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Get away from her. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground and stay there. Police officer, you're under arrest. Get away from me. Get away from me. Stay away from me. I can't breathe. I don't care. Get on the ground. Get flat on the ground. Do you hear me? Hey, 
Hey, sir. Hey. Go inside or you're going to jail. Go inside or you're going to jail. Get inside or you're going to jail. Do you hear me? Did he just assault her? No, she's assaulting him. He was screaming something and... And she jumped on her and... and she jumped on her and we, we pulled him out of the corner of her or something. Or something. And I'm like, wait a minute. Is this your sh whose shirt is this? That's my shirt. All right, go and take it. All right. I don't know what's <laughs> Does she have it on? I don't think so. She's got long shoes on. Can we look over here in the, in the grass over here? Hold up. Come here, come here, boo. Come here, boo. Take it. Come here, boo. Take it. I do you live here? Do you live in this house? Does he live here? Let me tell you something. You're going to go to jail for disturbing the peace if I hear one more thing out of you. Do you understand me? Do you understand? Now, if you want to go to jail, you step right out here on the step. Go, Ward. You want to be a badass? Go right now. They they harassed me. Do you want to go to jail? All I'm asking you is come on outside. I'm like the one who's walking I'm the sober one. Oh, yeah, I'm being asked. I'm going to the Ma'am, we hear something. You're showing off. Ma'am, 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 come here. Come here and talk to me. Come out here. Stop. No. Come down here. I am at 225. I don't really care. Well, I'm the sober one. Maybe I should talk to the cop. Can I talk to you for a minute? I'm asleep or have her. Can you step outside so I can talk to you for a minute? What's going on? I, um, my daughter came in the house and let the dogs out. And next thing I knew, I heard my husband yelling at somebody. So I came out here to see what he was yelling at. That was your husband? Yes. OK. And right. next thing I knew, a girl is running up in the yard, ready to attack him. So I stopped her. She said, you know, I'm going to kick your butt or whatever. And I said, no, you're not. And when she went to hit him, I stopped her. She get her handcuffs up front? Yeah. All right, go ahead. There, there you go. So she attacked next, you? Yes. Do you have any idea who she is? I have no yeah. idea who okay. she is. If your husband comes back outside, he's going to jail too. So take him inside, give him something to drink, preferably not alcohol. Calm him down and keep him in there for the rest of the night, okay? Uh, it's over with. So there's going to be screaming right, and yelling right, at anybody. We're just driving down the road, and I saw this female on top of another female just wailing on her in the front yard of this house. So we pulled up, and there's two different parties. Apparently, one party lives here in the house. Another one was walking from a bar. They got into some kind of altercation for whatever reason, and it ended right here in the front yard with them fighting. She wasn't going to stop hitting her, so I used a little capstone to bring her to a little bit more compliant state. Just take her to the second, and we'll do it there. OK. I'll meet you in a second. All right. Bird is black male. I don't have a chain of birth. We got a unit transporting the female who was doing most of the fighting just a few minutes ago. Uh, they're going to take her up here to the second precinct. We're going to take her into a decontamination room, let her use the eye wash station to get the capstone out of her eyes, and we'll take her in front of the magistrate. Come on over here. Stand in front of this thing, lean forward. Keep your eyes open, let the water hit your eyes, okay? Water would in your contact. If you want to get the capstone out of your face, you got to get water on you. Stand back. The water goes everywhere. Can lean forward. Somebody hold my hair. Don't worry about it, you're going to get wet. Just lean forward. Are you done? Back over where we came from. What was going on, Janelle? I have to What happened? I was walking with my girlfriend and a guy that she met at the club. And there was two people in front of us, a guy and a girl. And the guy started saying some racist remarks. The guy went up to his door, grabbed the first sale sign that was out outside the front of his house, and started swinging at everyone. And so, I don't know how it happened, 
put me and the girl started, started wrestling, and then that's when I got arrested. So if somebody's sober can come and get her, they're just going to let her go without having to post a bond. Um, the other woman didn't want to prosecute her for the assault, so we just charged her with disturbing the peace. I grew up here locally in the Tacoma area, so it's kind of nice. I run into a lot of people that, that I went to school with. You know, I went to the movies around here as a kid and rode my bike around. So it's kind of nice to be able to keep it in my neighborhood, um, try to keep your neighborhood safe kind of thing. Hi, Robert. Well, we just a few minutes ago had a theft from a vehicle. Uh, the suspect vehicle was a gray minivan with three females in it. And it took off from the scene. Uh, since we're so close, we're doing a quick area check to see if we can't come up with a vehicle. I know of a couple car prowlers in the area, and I'm kind of checking their house. Like that one right there. There's a minivan. Three twenty county. Three twenty. West Thorn and Union, right behind the uh, yellow restaurant here. Union, uh, it's a silvery blue minivan. Three females. Back in the vehicle. Back in the vehicle. Back up here, yes. Three twenty county. What was taken? Officer. Driver, hop out of the vehicle. Put out the cigarette. Put your hands on the vehicle. Do you have any weapons on you? Anything sharp? Anything that's going to poke me, stick me? Nope. Nothing at all? Nope. Do you have any ID on you? No. You have no ID on you? Nope. Do you have ID? Yeah. <laughs> Vehicle staying back clear to a night. Clip to 8940 Earl Star. Can I ask what I did? You're being detained. You're the suspect of a theft from a vehicle. 40 Earl Star. 800 Commercial Avenue. That's what it's on. Can we get a uh, description of what was taken? I'm working on it. Oh my god. Can I ask you for what? For vehicle prowl. I, I didn't do anything. Turn around, face the car. Well, he said the girl with the green hair, and you know what? Look, okay, I'm gonna tell you the truth. There's not many girls with green hair, and that's pretty darn green. Okay, look, I'm gonna tell you the okay. truth. This is your chance, okay? Okay. No, Give me the truth. I know who you are. Okay, I did not do it. Who did it? It was Christy. Okay, where's she at? She's the one that has the dyed burgundy hair. She had the dyed burgundy hair? What did she do? She was like, I was about to back up because I drove from the store. Uh-huh. I seen you guys pass. Okay. Pulling in here. <laughs> and um, she was like, hold on a second, it looks like I gotta hop out real quick. She hopped out and she hopped right back in. She had this thing of CDs. I didn't Where's think. the thing of CDs? Uh, she'll be in the van. In the van where? Did she hide him somewhere? Or? She might have. Yes, You're next. Don't pick him up, leave him there. Hands on the vehicle. 317. 44th and Bridgeport, Adam 7. I'll explain in a minute. You're being detained right now. You're suspect in a theft from vehicle. If that was you, it should be a case of 30 CDs. Rusi, the victim's come here and he's already identified these people as the ones who did it. You want to talk to me a little bit about what happened tonight? Nothing. You didn't tell your friend that was driving to stop a sec, hop out and grab the CDs from his truck? No, they were sitting right by the, by the door of his truck. So you grabbed them by the door of his truck? No, they were, they were on, the, on the ground. I picked them up. I said, oh. Okay, so you picked them up. Where are they at? They're, they're what? In the van. They're in the van. So he dropped him out of his truck and you didn't realize that, so you just we're, saw him on the coming, ground and we picked him up? We were coming out, there was, this, there was this guy standing there, and then we, so we, got, we came over there, he walks over by the phones, and he leaves. And then he, he left, just left the six CDs there. Okay, so you picked him up. Well, yeah, and I picked him up. Okay, where'd you put him in the van? He took off. Where'd you put him in the van? There. Yeah, I got a group. Where'd you put him in the van? Underneath the seat. 
For me? Underneath the back seat. Underneath the back seat. There was the okay. one in my backpack. I had a plane in my backpack. They left some CDs on the floorboards in there. That's why I knew. I, I some of them are theirs. Yeah, no, all mine are in there. My kid, or anything yeah, there's my kid rock seat. Yeah, mine's in there. Everything in there is mine. They did. They wouldn't have got nothing for nothing. Anything else? No, nope, there's my Metallica. Where were they in your car? They were sitting right on my seat. Was there, I just got off my duty. I slipped it. There was no there. way they could have fell on I the ground outside your truck. Quarters. They when were on that. Car. No, they were on that seat because I got out of this door. There's they no were, way they could have fell on the ground. No, nope, they were sitting just like that with my backpack and everything. And I got out of this door. And there was a girl also sitting in the parking lot. When I came out, she's like, "What's wrong?" And I'm like, "I'm like, I'm missing stuff out of my truck." Like, oh yeah, the three girls that were just there. I'm gonna book you on the theft second for the theft of the CDs. Okay. I'm gonna write in the report your side of the story and your friend's side. Okay, and you can explain to the judge and the prosecutor what was going on, okay? But I do have to book you tonight. I'm sorry about that. What, what second degree? What is it? It's just because of the amount. It means over $250. Is it a felony? Uh, yes, it is. How do I get to black? I can open the, the big question hill. Pardon me? I can open the question real quick. I don't know where her boyfriend is. He's in the house. He's in the house? He's the one that was standing in the window. Don't cry, Christina. She's ready to go. Gonna take her down. Thanks, ma'am. Thanks for your help. At least you guys come forward and you're honest about what happened, and I appreciate that. And I'm gonna cut you guys out of here. I'm gonna run it, make sure everything's kosher with the van. If everything's good, you can get out of here. Okay. okay. Was well, last month. I was stolen. Okay, now I can go get my cigarettes. Good night, ladies. Good night, thank you. I think the people out here really support us, and I think uh, the majority of them think we're doing a good job. And, you know, I obviously don't do this for money. I do this because I, I love my work, and uh, I think it's an important asset to society. You know, we're really just the fine line. We divide the fine line between chaos and order, and, uh, you know, it's pretty neat to be part of it. Charlie, we're uh, being dispatched to a family fight over here in our city. Apparently, uh, it's a male and female having an argument. I think the male threw out the female and shut the door behind her, and now she's pounding on a door trying to get in. I guess we have a unit there on scene, and we're going to be pulling up there momentarily to find out what's going on. Do you have any ID? Yeah, I have an ID. Come on, any day now. Any day. I already told you once. I've, I've given you ample time. Who's What's inside this? you? Who's inside the apartment? What's this? I have no apartment. I have no nothing. Do you have ID in here? Yes, I have ID in there. I have my social security number. Find out nothing. Should we know who you are? Thank you, Catherine, you have some extra stuff right over here. I don't care. It's a little bit of What is? Everything that I've done in my life. If you don't watch your mouth, you can't want to care anyway. I don't care. You think I care about medicine? Can anybody talk to anybody inside now? No, I'm dealing with her. All right. Listen, I did Kath nothing. Catherine, listen, as of right now. <laughs> Catherine, right? Catherine, listen, as of right now, okay, we're just trying to find out what's going on. What's going on? Is that freeway 21? You're taking my stupid passport for nothing? This isn't a passport. Yes, it is. It's to get me to New Mexico. That has nothing to do with right, where 
right, all right. Listen, just pick up. Listen, just do me a favor. Just pick up the rest of your underwear. Let's put it inside your uh, bag here. And you are nothing. I'm going to go to jail for it. Like, I give my... You didn't make me go to jail for that? For picking up one, two, three, four pairs of underwear? And you're going to make me go to jail for it? I did everything I can in my power for this. What? Catherine. Get yourself a f***ing corner. Catherine, let me explain something to you right now, okay? If you disturb the peace, you're going to be hooked up and you're going to go to jail, okay? So if I were you, I would settle down a little bit till we find out what's going on here. I'm not going to play this game anymore. Me or anything else in this community. That, that's fine, okay? All I care about is stupid yeah, As a matter of fact, the only thing I care about right now is keeping the peace, and apparently you're, you're disturbing the peace, it. nothing. You have nothing to know what if it, about keeping the peace. Are I'll you the manager, ma'am? Why don't you come down there and talk to the officer? Is she going to be 15, Tom? You literally also, you have no idea what you it's like, like about charges? keeping the peace. $25 I get for a single... Filming cotton. Twin pink! Twin pink! 15. $45 twin pink! All right, pink. do me a favor. Stand. Stand. We're going to help you. We're going to give you a ride. We're gonna, we're, no, come on, stand up. Come on, stand up. Stand up. Come on, stand up. Stand up. Come on. You guys... There you go. Oh, watch your hand. You understand as of right now you're under arrest? Shannon, you are under arrest for, for three counts of disorderly conduct. You understand that? Watch your head. Come on. There's no peace in it. Watch your head. Good. Get her stuff together. I'm gonna put all of this. I'm gonna put all of this stuff. Don't take this stupid baby in one bag. Walk me down. One, two, three. That's it. Good. If you're not willing to be nice. Willing to be nice when I'm white of America. I have the freedom. Why? Because why? Oh, don't drink because I'm white. White, 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 white. Watch your head. White. I'm sick. Thank you. Give me a call on your primary 5574. Okay. I'm nothing wrong. You want to see your stink? You want to eat my stupid? So she just showed up? She showed up. She came over and she started drinking from their liquor cabinet by herself. The two residents in there are sober as can be. And uh, she just started making an issue about a uh, box of cigarettes. And that's it. That's what sparked the whole thing. That's it. A pack of cigarettes. She'll spend a night and be seen in the morning by a judge.